and here. Wizard of the Coast have just released a brand new advert for Magic Arena. Magic Arena, now it's official, it's not beta anymore, it's official and this video represents the launch of the official Magic Arena. Wizards of the Coast have stated they have put some easter eggs in this video, so let's try and find as much as possible easter eggs in this new advert. The first one, the first frame that we have, I think the most easter egg that you can see is this character which is representing Jace. Now, next one, the next frame, we have here a young lady playing Magic Arena and in this case she was defeated, but here we can see on one side there is Ravnica Legion's booster packs, we have Corsa 2020 booster packs and on the other side we have Guilds of Africa booster packs, some Magic the Gathering cards and also a nice frame of a kitten. All this obviously is representing the rotation and the set that now make part of standard and the cat in my opinion is representing the cat elemental of the Master Pass for Corset 2020. Next we finally see a character emerging from the poster, he's Carl Weathers. If you don't know who Carl Weathers is, he's a very famous actor from the 80s and 90s and mostly he's famous to, that he has played this particular character. He played Apollo Creed in the Rocky Balboa saga alongside obviously Sylvester Stallone and as I said he's a very very famous actor from that period. He's holding a stereo in the hand. This particular stereo is a very is a very big reference to the 80s and 90s. At the time these particular devices were very popular. Nowadays we don't have these type of devices, they, they are, were too large. Nowadays we have portable speakers and MP3 players. Next we take a look to the room of this young lady and here we can see here in this poster, we can see Jace with Split always lost. On this side, we can see the guild's leader, leaders of Ravnica. We have Venefer, we have Kaya, we have Domri. And here, Carl Weathers gives the young lady some food so that she can begin training. Obviously this is a big reference to the food tokens in Throne of Eldrain and it's a very nice way how to tell that food will give you life for your training. We've seen here she's training, she's training carrying zombies and one of the zombies is still alive and also she's training in I would say a cold room where there are these dinosaurs hanging. Obviously, this is a very big reference to the Ixalan that now is phased out from the rotation. And also, this particular drag dinosaur, this is Hoatlis Raptor. And another thing, because Apollo, Apollo Creed or Carl Weathers played Apollo Creed, this particular scene is a very big reference to the scene where Rocky Balboa used to train punching meat in a meat factory. This is Hoatlis Raptor. As you can see, the Raptor is very similar to the one hanging on the roof and that this young lady is punching. Obviously, these are reference because Carl Weathers is a very important character in Rocky. And also we have this reference of Hoatlis Raptor. Next one, we have here a very big book I think that's the Grimoire of the Dead, very similar, another easter egg. And here we have this board, and this board is full of easter egg. Let's try and see how many we can point out. First of all, here, it is visible, here there is, as you can see, it's not very visible, but here it is written, Homeland, the best set in Magic. 
Obviously, this is a very big joke. Homeland is one of the worst set in Magic, but they have written here Homeland's the best ever set in Magic. Here we have another reference for the Storm Scale. We have the Mana Curve. We have more reference. We have the symbol for Guilds of Ravnica. We have the symbol for Magic Arena. Chandra Rocks. Here we have this formula which indicates you see, which indicates Nismizit. Here we have Fblit Lost. And here we have a, a quite nice design. I'm going to show you, I will continue a little bit the easter eggs in this board, but this particular design, as you can see, this is a reference to this card. Look at me, I'm the DCI. This particular card was illustrated by Mark Rosewater. There is more, there's a lot, a lot of easter eggs in this board. Here we have a very nice list called Maros to-do list, that is Mark Rosewater, and one of them is, the fourth is save magic, and the fifth is Destroy magic. It's a very reference and hilarious thing. Here we have the symbol for Ultimate Masters. We have a reference for Richard Garfield. Here we have this particular letter, which it could be a reference to a new set. I don't know. Maybe you can hit me in the comments below. What do you think this particular word will be? Obviously, we have still more things related to Magic the Gathering. We have the five symbols. We have Tempest. We have here a reference, in my opinion, to the invocations of Amonkhet. We have the symbol for Rivals of Ixalan. Let me see if I can. We have the symbol for Zendikar. We have a lot, a lot, a lot of symbols and things that reference to Magic the Gathering cards or Magic the Gathering terminology. Next one, as I said, this is look at me at the CI. Next one, we have this. Here we see tribes, legendary sagas. And here we have that this young lady, obviously, she has wings and she's trying to fly and learn how to fly in Magic the Gathering. This is a very big reference to Icarus. Icarus was one of the legendary mythics in the Greek mythology. He had wings, he could fly, he went too near the sun and the sun burned his wings or melted his, the wax or that was holding his wings and eventually Icarus fall down and died. Here we have another scene where we have on her cell phone an image of a creature and this creature is trained org from from 7th edition now here we have some more things that we can see one important thing here we have dungeons and dragons another very important product for wizard of the coast and here we have a picasso style chandra carl weathers here is holding a lightning bolt you can see lightning bolt and here we have these three dummies that are being hit by the lightning bolt and they are Jace, Nicole Bolas and Tesseret. Obviously I don't know if this is a reference that Jace will eventually be one of the bad guys or bad planeswalkers in Magic the Gathering but it's very strange that you put two enemies that is Nicole Bolas and Tesseret and with them one member of the Gatewatch. This scene, this is a very important thing, this particular number, 1993. If you don't know what 1993 means for Magic the Gathering, 1993 is the year that Magic the Gathering was born. And that's why we see this particular number in more than one scene. Here, where this welcome, the challenge, this particular image here, if you can see it, that is perfectly taken from the artwork of Lightning Bolt by Christopher Rush. You can see it is very similar and there's a very nice reference and easter egg to this particular card. In the corner here we can see an image of 
a shining sphere. The shining sphere is the Mirari. You can see they are similar. It's another reference to another card in Magic the Gathering. Last scene, this particular image, she finally managed to learn to fly, to learn magic, and we see her hugging her mentor, Carl Weathers, and throwing her fist in the sky. This is a perfect reference to this particular scene from Rocky III. These are all the easter eggs that I managed to catch from this advert. If you have found more easter eggs and I didn't list them there, please leave them, leave them in the comments below. I will, will be very glad to learn more easter eggs in this particular advert. Here the subscription button, subscribe for my channel for more interesting videos like this one about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.